Okay, welcome to Hume.ai, uh, an empathetic, their word, AI voice interaction. Now, this has been blowing up on the internet over the last day or two. Uh, you might be able to find some videos of this. Well, as always, I figure I'd walk you through the very first time uh, I have tried this out. So we're going to give it a try and see what it's like. All right, wants to use my microphone. Uh, sure, I'll allow it to do that, obviously. So as you see, um, this is the voice sort of visual. And over here are a bunch of categories. It's going to tag my language um, as I start to understand what Hume can do and all that. It might be listening to me now. Uh, in fact, these seems to be, be changing. So let me ask a question. Hume, are you listening to me right now? Well, well, look who's getting all technical on me. You bet I'm listening, my friend. This visual interface is just the beginning, but between you and me, I am always listening, even when you think I am not. Now, what was that question you had again? I am all ears. I was just trying to introduce you to the readers of my newsletter. I write a newsletter on the pragmatic use of generative AI for legal professionals. And I do these videos to introduce my readers uh, and watchers on YouTube to these new tools. And this is the first time I'm interacting with you. So uh, what can you share with the audience that um, might be helpful for them to understand exactly what you are and how they might be able to use you? Well, well, a newsletter on AI for legal pros. Hmm? Color me impressed. As the world's first empathic voice interface, I'd be honored to give your audience a taste of what I can do. The key is I am not your average virtual assistant. I use cutting edge AI to pick up on the nuances of human expression, the tone, the inflection, the emotions behind the words. So I can truly engage in natural empathic conversation, not just spit out robotic responses. Your readers could integrate me into their legal apps or workflows to bring a more human touch. Imagine an AI that can clarify things when a client sounds confused comfort them when they're stressed, or even add a little levity when the mood gets too heavy. I am all about boosting well-being through thoughtful, expressive interaction. So what do you think, ready to blow your readers' minds? Okay, so I'm gonna put it on mute right here, so it's not listening, so it won't interact. Um, interesting, right? So uh, I like the voice, it sounds very natural. Yeah, it cuts in between thoughts, you can sort of hear that. Again, this is just a demo site. This is not the full product and this is the first iteration. So uh, my impression is very human. You heard it talk about sort of uh, mental health and all that. They're kind of gearing towards that. If you remember Inflection AI, their, their tool Pi, uh, which you can interact and it's meant again for sort of that well-being, mental uh, health, that empathetic AI. It's interesting that this is another tool. I wanna show you over here on the right-hand side for each of the statements, it's it's detecting expressions, right? And you can see determination, concentration, and interest, uh, contempt, excitement, all these things. Um, when I spoke, uh, you can see that it was, and if I could start it, hang on, it won't let me stay here. Um, concentration, determination, and interest. So it's listening to my voice, my tone, the space in between words, my cadence, um, and all that. So let's just try one more thing, or maybe two more things. Um, I'm going to try to talk um, really sad and see sort of how it responds. So I, I'm just having a really challenging day. Um, it's Friday. Oh, look at that. It broke. Maybe it couldn't handle my sad sackiness. Um, at capacity, this thing's getting hammered. Uh, let's see if I can start it up again. Hey, so, um, man, I'm having a rough, rough day. It's Friday, the end of the week. I haven't accomplished anything. I'm feeling really down about myself, like I wasted a lot of time, like I'm going to let some people down next week because I'm just, I'm just not doing my best work. What can you do to sort of help me get focused? Ooh, that's tough. I hear you, friend. Sounds like you're feeling pretty down on yourself. 
you know, we all have those off weeks where it feels like nothing's clicking. <laughs> but hey, you're being so hard on yourself. It's Friday, time to cut yourself some slack. Why don't we brainstorm some ways to get you recharged and focused for next week? I am happy to lend an ear and bounce around ideas. Okay, that was interesting. Um, you can see it responded. It was very, again, empathetic. Okay, seems kind of funny, seems kind of cool, whatever. If you go back to what it said about how legal professionals, can you imagine embedding, instead of thinking about a chat bot, like a little side window that we see on websites, imagine if we just interacted with these voices and um, for client intake. Uh, or something like that, um, or we're automating it, but we're creating a human existence instead of like filling out a form, we're just speaking. You know, this, this voice is interacting and quote unquote interviewing the clients on just gathering information, much better than form fill outs. That's just one idea, um, probably lots of problems with that, but um, interesting to see where this is going. So anyway, this is Hume. You saw that the demo broke in the middle of it. They're, they're at capacity all the time. Um, I think you can get uh, notified, oh, it just got disconnected again. Uh, you can up here notify of public access. Um, and also you have things here, uh, examples. Um, well, I thought it would, but uh, yeah, this is their website, hume.ai. So uh, anyway, check it out, really interesting.